In this video, I'm going to show you how to put together a really basic LM386 audio amplifier circuit. Um, it's going to be mono, so we're going to be using one channel of this uh, stereo cable. For uh, testing purposes, I went ahead and soldered leads to this. It makes it really easy to um, put together audio amplifier projects and test them because I already soldered leads to the end of it. Um, did the same thing to my 10K potentiometer right here. Makes it very simple just to plug into the breadboard and do whatever you want. Did the same thing to the speaker, positive negative. Uh, parts, you'll obviously need LM386, 10K, 10-unifarad uh, capacitor, 100-unifarad capacitor, and uh, optional, you can use LED with a 220-ohm resistor. Purpose of the resistor is to reduce the milliamps to the LED, so that way you don't end up blowing up your LED when you're supplying 10 some odd volts to the amplifier. I believe the amplifier works between 6 and 12 volts, so I'm going to be supplying 10 volts to it, so that way it's less noisy. It's a very weak amplifier. It puts out maybe 1 watt max, so it doesn't take much to get nasty sound sounding. We're going to start by putting the amplifier on the breadboard. Let me turn it around, make it easier for me. Alright, so I'm going to start with uh, pin 2 and pin 4. Our ground pins. So, just go ahead and ground this right off the bat so you don't have to worry about them. Your power pin is going to be power, uh, pin 6. So go ahead and attach that. Signal pin is going to be sig pin 3. So go ahead and attach that. We're going to put this right here. Just like that. And we're going to go ahead and jump the power rails, attach ground to ground. And power to power, so that way both rails are attached, just like that. Let's go ahead and attach our capacitors, pin 1 and pin 8, 10 unifarad capacitor. The negative side of the capacitor goes to the pin 8 side. So we'll just go ahead and attach it like that. And pin 5 is our speaker output. And we're going to attach 100 unifarad capacitor, the negative side going towards pin 5. Uh, the amplifier is pretty much hooked up for the most part. Uh, I'll give you a close up view of it. Pin 1 and pin 8 to need a fair capacitor. Pin 5, output, 100 unifier capacitor. Pin 6 is power, 2 and 4 are ground. Pin 3 is signal. And of course, ground to ground, positive, positive. I'm trying to make this as simple as I can for you because there's a lot of bad videos that really don't describe very much on how to put these things together very well. I'm going to go ahead and attach the input signal jack. 
Um, again, this is a stereo, but we're going to only use one channel because this is a mono amp. So it really doesn't matter what channel you use, just remember it's not stereo. So the ground goes to the ground rail. And one of the channels go to input signal. Just like that. We'll go ahead and attach our LED. So the resistor is going to jump from the positive rail like that. Then from that, the LED, then you jump the LED negative side to ground long pin being positive short pin being negative should look like this positive negative Now it's time to hook up our volume control and the speaker. Um, this is a little speaker, but it's a little overkill. It's quite powerful. Um, a one watt speaker will do just fine, but uh, this is out of a Logitech surround sound speaker system. And it's great for uh, testing, as you can see, I already soldered jumper leads to it. The ground goes straight to ground just like that and our par positive side attaches to the potentiometer you attach one side of the potentiometer to the output of the capacitor then you attach the potentiometer to the breadboard then the positive side to that rail and that should supply that should give us volume control of this amplifier now again this is a very weak amp so it doesn't take much for it to sound like crap but should work 9 volt battery will work just fine but I have a DC power supply That'll supply any voltage I want up to 18 volts. So I'm just going to apply 10 volts to it. So the LED is on. It's a little bright. And if it's hooked up correctly, I will plug. Listen to my phone, and it should make some noise. As you can see, it works pretty well. It's uh, absolutely noise-free. Um, and it's actually quite loud, believe it or not. A little louder than I expected it to be, but for some reason today it sounded pretty good. Okay, thanks for watching.